Hey, I'm in the Mighty Quip booth, uh, speaking with the founder of this of Sumo Light, the company. Yeah. Uh, and I'm just going to introduce yourself. So okay. Okay, my name's David Yellen, and uh, I've been a gaffer in Hollywood since 1994. Okay. And now I live in Berlin, where I've started a company called Sumolite, and we manufacture LED lighting fixtures. Uh, right now, this is our first product, the uh, Sumolite S uh, Sumo 100. Okay, this is this is now it's fully in production. You can buy. This yeah, product. yeah, you can buy this product. Well, you will be able to buy this product starting next week. Okay. <laughs> um, and Light Equip is our distributor. I'm just gonna, it's gonna in Germany. Around. Okay. So. This is the mixed mode version of the light. So it has daylight and tungsten LEDs in it. And you can, oops, you can dim between the two colors. Okay, so is there only one single dial that can I control between both? It's kind of. Yeah, uh, it's just you've got, you've got an intensity and you've got color temperature. Okay. Cool. So you don't have to uh, manually very, control each array. Yeah, okay. it's it's a very very simple and basic way of controlling things. The light is also it's also possible to uh, DMX control it. It's it's um, it's got an RDM system inside so that you can remotely address it. Okay. Uh, it will run on anything from 12 to 48 volts. Okay. So you can battery power it, or you can run a power adapter, which I'm assuming. Yeah. Is included if yeah. The battery adapter, the power adapter is included in the in the kit cost. So, but of course you can always run it on uh, various different kinds of batteries. 36 volt battery belts are fine. 12 volt batteries, whatever you need. Okay. It basically good. takes it all. Now what are these, uh, I see these lens panel things that you have uh, Okay, the lenses are interchangeable. Yep. It's a one piece uh, lens array and it just snaps in and and uh, we will have, right now we have a 60 degree lens, but we will have uh, a variety of okay. other. So, oh, so currently only yeah. 60 is available? Yeah, but. So I guess what is the beam spread like uh, without any modification? Well, without the lens at all, okay. the beam spread would be like 120 degrees. Okay. So okay. the 60 yeah. degree narrows it a bit. Okay, and then so you're, you're aiming for what other degrees in future? Probably lenses? we will. Well, I haven't totally made up my mind, but probably we'll, we'll make a 30, a, an asymmetric 30 degree by 90 degree, okay. and and probably a, a 30 degree and a, and a 90 degree as well. Okay, excellent. Uh, I guess you have some prototype products in here. Yeah, we do. Okay, I'm just going to show you the soft box that goes yes. with this first because so it comes it's with kind it. of well, it doesn't come with it, okay. but you have to pay for it extra. But okay, here's the we have a lantern, okay. and we kind of rethought the way the soft boxes should work so our rods stay in the stay in the box. Yeah I've never seen a soft box you don't, like this before. You don't take them out. And since it's kind of small anyway, you can just fold it up and put it away flat. Oh, awesome. And well how does this clip on though? It clips on it snaps on to the light with snaps. Kind of like buttons. Yeah exactly. Okay. Oh neat. Okay. And so you have one attached right here. Yeah. Cool. Do you have like do you have a version of this though with um Oh, there we go. Okay, and then we have the the standard soft box, okay. which you can put the diffusion frame in the front, and also the advantage of this one is you can fold it the other way. So if you situate it right, you just fold it right up, put it away, and the rods again stay inside. Cool. Actually, down here I see a yoke. Yeah, as we well. have a yoke, so, so the people people who love yokes can buy their yoke. Um, I don't and find it. I, it's kind of hard to pack a yoke, so that's why I like the quick release better. Actually, yeah, just show me that. The quick release, <laughs> it's quick. kind of quick. Yeah. <laughs> so you just kind of press a button and it released it. Yeah, you just you just twist on, twist off, and there you go. It's compatible with the ram mount system, so it has a rubber ball. It's very, very strong. Right. The rubber ball will pretty much never slip, when you, okay. even with just a slight amount of tightening. Okay, excellent. Oh, and okay. then... Um, and then we want to... You want to... Yeah. Oh, well, I'll show you this, because we have it hanging here, because we're so proud of our um, design of the frame. Yeah. Um, it's CNC machined, okay. and... All 
of the parts of the light are replaceable. So you can totally, yeah, you can, if, if it gets stretched, you can replace the side. So you if, can order each of these pieces and we can Well, them. yeah, or you could send it to us and we would replace it. <laughs> is, I mean, is that depending, what you prefer? Okay. Yeah, probably the rental houses are going to do that. <laughs> okay. I mean, maybe if it was just the side, we would just send it to you. Right. But, but if it's electronics or something, you would probably want to send it to us and we would pop it out and put a different one in. Right. We can even replace one LED if one LED is broken. Okay. But we obviously can only do that in our factory, not... <laughs> Fair Not at home. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, the last light modifiers are these: okay. the um, honeycomb, which slides into the front. Okay. And so this would also give it a different kind of beam spread as well. Though. Well, yeah. If you need a, if you need, a, because even if you, even with a narrow lens, you're still going to get some kind of um, spill. So yeah. it's kind of nice to have the honeycomb. Uh, for LEDs, I think honeycombs work a lot better than barn doors because. Because the barn doors always cast those like multicolored, weird or, or or weird multiple shadows and stuff. So I think it's better. Um, also, we have here. I show you here uh, a special diffusion that we include with the light. It's uh, a hexagonal lenslet array. Okay. And. The advantage of it is that you can get rid of most of the multiple shadowing without losing more than 8% of the light. Okay. So... It's a very efficient... Kind yeah, of it's a very efficient way to do a little bit of diffusion right. so that you can just kind of take the edge off it if you need to. Cool. Okay. Now, yeah, I you want to move on? Un un yeah, unreleased product. Okay, products. we move on to the unreleased product. This is a um, prototype of our Sumo 400 product. Okay. Uh, it is actively cooled, okay. and we're using very large, very quiet computer fans to cool it. Um, How large are they? Like 120 mil? Or yeah. Like 120? These are 120 mil. Okay. Um, they have a 150,000 hour six year guarantee. Okay. So they will not get loud later. Okay. They're really so going to they, stay quiet. Are and they you variable cannot, speed or they're just well, one fix but slow speed? In this prototype, they're one fix but slow speed, but in general, they will be variable speed. Uh, they will, there will be a feedback system to control, so you just use the minimum fan speed you need. I see. Sounds good. Everything, everything in our lights uh, is microprocessor controlled, so, so you get this kind of feedback to, to just to keep the temperature stable or the, you know, or, or to do the dimming and so forth. Cool, sounds good. And then it'll be compatible with all the same accessories? So it looks like uh, this, same this will be, this is exactly the same size. Um, this light weighs two kilos. This light weighs three kilos right now, but it will probably end up being two and a half kilos for production. And for double the density of four, light. Four times the light output. Four times the light output, so two more stops. Yeah, okay, wow. so it's a very, very powerful light, especially with a 60 degree beam angle. It's like, 180-foot candles at 10 feet, which is no joke. And will the other softbox shapes and sizes available now that you've got more light output? Um, we're thinking about it. Probably, probably we should make a bigger one because you've got more light output. Yeah. Maybe if we may we, we may do is make also a, use a wider optic so that you can fill a more flat softbox. Right. I think it's very nice to have a big flat source. Yeah. That would be interesting. Okay, and then we have a, um, a space light prototype up here, which is, it's actually two of these lights. It's two. It's two of these more powerful lights. So this is 432 LEDs. Okay. It draws about 450 watts. But when you say it's two of them, like you're actually, like they're just modules well, from this one? Well, this isn't, if you, this is... Yeah, if you if you took a third and a third, you, you divided this into thirds. Okay. That would be what is up there. Okay. Probably we will change it for production so that the LEDs are spaced a bit further apart and it's a solid, it's a solid light. But we just thought we try this for the first try, right. see how people liked it. So far, everyone loves it. So you know, you would use something like this probably even without a necessarily skirt. Right? Yeah, we've actually started. I I found out that when people are using LED space lights and stuff. Yep. Because um, because they don't need as much diffusion, it's not it's not just like six little point sources. So so they don't need as much diffusion. A lot of people are using them without a skirt, and so I think that's uh, probably the way people will go. That's why we made it the hex because the um, you will, you'll it should be a solid source, and then you'll be able to just fit them all together. Right. Okay. 
Oh, you wanted to talk about PWM? Yeah. Okay, good. One of my favorite subjects. Okay. <laughs> okay. What um, I've, I've I've done all the dimming in these in these units with DC. Okay. It goes DC from 450 or 500 milliamps down to one tenth of a milliamp. Okay. So it's it's much harder to do the engineering for this yes. because you have to measure some very very small voltages, okay. and that's why most companies don't do it that way. They just use a resistor. They use they use a PWM system, which actually flickers it at a very very high speed. Okay. But the problem is with the problem with PWM is that in order to get a low output, you have to use a very short pulse. Right. So if say you're running PWM with a minimum of one microsecond pulse, this means that you can't run at you have to have a certain you have to have a certain length of time that each pulse is going to be within and and that creates flicker when you when you dim down. And it's especially true with RGB lights right. where if you're at a certain color maybe the green channel or the red channel is at a very low level so then that channel will start to flicker when you're running at a higher frame rate. Right. Um, if you're just running straight DC there's no flicker at any frame rate ever. So I mean, just like David Pringle can run at a million frames a second, it's the it's the same thing if we had enough light. I mean, obviously, obviously we're not making soft suns here, but you know, it's the basic the basic concept is is the same analog dimming. So and and a lot of people have started have been using PWM because the LED manufacturers told them that there was going to be color shift if they didn't. But I did a little a lot of research on this and. My finding was that actually there is not enough color shift to worry about. PWM also causes color shift. Right. So in, in the case of using high CRI LEDs, the color shift is so small that you can't measure it and you can't see it. Um, our prototypes have been used on many, many commercials and nobody's ever complained about any color shift. So I don't, I don't I, see it as a problem. Speaking of the actual LED, like who's your, LED, like your LED supplier? Is it different yeah. than anyone else's or is it your own proprietary? LED design? Or? Um, our, it's kind of a special order from a, from a Japanese manufacturer that doesn't doesn't do so much volume. It's not Osram, it's not in China. It's, uh... <laughs> no, I'm not going to say it on, okay, on fair camera. Enough. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But cool. So yeah. no one else is using. Not that I know of. Okay. But you know how LED manufacturers are. They'll yeah, whoever basically. wants to give them their money, they'll no, for sure. they'll they'll go to them. So cool. Anyway, now uh, this is great.